Mohammed has just escaped a living hell. Three weeks ago, the 73-year-old Pakistani and his wife managed to leave eastern Ghouta. The couple now live in this family home in East Pakistan. Today, he's far from the violence, but Mohammed is still plagued by painful memories. When I arrived here, I was so traumatized that when a bike came down the street, I thought it was a plane. And when the door slammed, I thought it was a bomb. Mohammed arrived in Syria in 1974. Originally headed for Iraq, he settled in eastern Ghouta, where he married Rabah, seen here. The couple had six children together, one of whom was killed in 2013 amidst the conflict. Crushed by the blow, his wife died of a heart attack not long after. In Ghouta, the situation was degenerating. The rebel enclave east of Damascus was being hit by airstrikes daily and was under siege by regime forces. Remarried, Mohammed tried to flee with his relatives in 2015, but caught between the fire of armed rebels and that of the regime forces, the family remained trapped in eastern Ghouta. Deprived of everything, the couple did all they could to survive. We were eating plants and leaves. We didn't have soap or washing powder, nothing. I used ash with a bit of water added to clean the laundry. Their salvation came in the form of his Pakistani passport. As the situation turned into a nightmare after the regime offensive began last February, the Pakistani ambassador finally succeeded in getting Mohammed and his wife out of Syria on the 1st of March. Only a minor relief for the couple who were forced to leave their family behind.